In any scientific field, from time to time, an especially relevant discovery is made, allowing considerable advances in the knowledge and possibilities. In a disruptive way, HeatSense technology is one of these discoveries in the field of biosensors. The development of advanced biosensors could affect positively our lives. The detection of biomolecules, bacteria and other elements that allow us, for example, to know whether food meets all the necessary conditions for consumption or to detect contaminants in water. It is so important that in 2012 they reached a market of $8.5 billion and that all market studies show that it will double in 2018. But there is still a long way to go in this field. Perfect biosensor should have a very high sensitivity in order to detect analytes present in low quantities and should be very specific, recognising only what we want. And not less important is the simplicity of its use without requiring a pre-treatment of the sample, giving the result in a low time and be sufficiently portable and simple that anyone could use it anywhere. However, in many applications, biosensors available on the market are still not sufficiently sensitive, simple, portable or without offering the result in a reasonable time. But why is that so important that biosensors have such properties? For example, with a more sensitive biosensor, we could detect diseases such as cancer in the early stages, increasing the patient life expectation. But how could we reach a highly competitive biosensor? Let's see what a biosensor is. A biosensor is composed of several parts. On one hand, there is a biological element known as a receptor, able to recognise a selective analyte of interest. This part defines how specific the biosensor is. This receptor is linked to a transducer element, commonly known as a label, which is in charge of converting this biological recognition interaction into a type of signal that we are able to observe and measure. For example, an electrical charge, a magnetic field or a colour change. This part defines how sensitive the biosensor is. Finally, we have the display consisting of the elements in charge of adapting and showing such signal so that the operator can interpret it. Consequently, it seems obvious that if we want to improve the sensitivity of a biosensor, the label that is in charge of the transduction process is important. But, what is being done today in that field? In the field of immunoassays, biochemical tests that use antibodies as biological receptors the direct recognition was initially used, but not sensitive enough. The immunoassays have therefore improved in terms of sensitivity, with the introduction of the ELISA technique that uses enzymes as labels and the immuno-PCR that uses DNA chains instead of enzymes. The improvements made to a label, which carry out the transduction process, lead to a considerable increase of the detection sensitivity. However, could we contribute even more to the discovery of new and more efficient labels? The answer is yes. That is the whole point of HeatSense. HeatSense is a technology born from the research on nanomaterials, specifically from gold nanoprisms. They, at the right dimensions, show interesting properties when exposed to a source of energy in a given frequency. They convert almost 100% of light energy into heat. Biosensors can increase their sensitivity when using these gold nanoprisms as a label. Is that wonderful concept possible to use in real biosensors? Comparative scientific trials have been carried out to detect the carcinoembryonic biomarker CEA in blood using a conventional sandwich ELISA technique and in the same trial substituting the enzyme for this new label, HeatSense Gold Nanoprism. HeatSense technology allows increasing the sensitivity level up to three orders of magnitude, reaching a femtomolar detection level. In addition, the optimization of the test performance would allow the achievement of atomolar detection limit. This discovery 
is of great importance since the sensitivity level obtained by HeatSense is equivalent or superior to technology like ImmunoPCR. Using this portable device, which is user-friendly and economic, you will not need sophisticated facilities, complex equipment or specialised personnel. But how does HeatSense work? Its way of working is one of its greatest advantages. If the analyte of interest is present in a sample, the bioreceptor functionalised with the nanoprisms will recognise such analyte and when the laser impacts these gold nanoprisms, they generate heat that can be easily detected either directly by a thermosensitive material or electronically, allowing not only qualitative detection but also accurate quantification of the amount of analyte that is present. Furthermore, this label can be attached not only to antibodies but also to other biological receptors. Therefore, it can be applied to different conventional trials with little adaptation, allowing their use to detect all kinds of markers in different samples and in all types of industries or applications, making HeatSense technology universal. HeatSense has very peculiar properties for the biosensing field. HeatSense is an ultra-sensitive technology that permits a direct use of the complex matrix samples, which do not need complex pretreatments before the analysis, as it is for other sensing technologies. Additionally, HeatSense is easy to use, allowing to perform simple detection. But it is also an ultra-responsive biosensing technology. With its high portability, it can be applied to different devices reaching very satisfying detection times. Moreover, HeatSense is an economic technology allowing to develop devices with very highly competitive cost. Thanks to its great ultra-sensitivity, simplicity, ultra-responsiveness, portability and low cost, HeatSense is one of those scientific discoveries that represent a significant step towards our future and progress. HeatSense, a knit by a sensing technology developed by Nanoimmunotech for all the ones that want to detect what really matters.